Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming Banter. In this video we are checking out the new firmware update for the Jaguar Game Drive, which adds Jaguar CD support to the flash cartridge. If you missed our review of the Jaguar Game Drive, you can find the link in the description and at the end of the video. We cover everything in detail on the cartridge, so check that video out for the full review as this video concentrates on the Jaguar CD support. The first thing you will need to do is convert your CD rips to the JCD format using the converter Retro HQ as created. To do this you need the CD image in CDI, CCD or Q format and the converter software in the same folder. You can drop to the command prompt to specify the output file but drag in and drop in the CDI, CCD or Q file onto the EXE will automatically convert it. This will take a few moments to convert depending on the file size. You can then copy the JCD file over to your micro SD card which needs to be freshly formatted. This is important as the Jaguar Game Drive requires the JCD files to be contiguous and not split across the card. You will get an error if the file is not when attempting to load the game. Once you have your JCD files copied over to the card, you can boot up the Jaguar and update the firmware. When booting up, hold the option button down and it will bring up a screen. I have censored parts of this image as it contains my game drive serial number for the firmware. Simply use the QR code with your phone or visit the URL in your browser to get the correct firmware for your game drive. Copy that file over to the card, boot it back up and the game drive will automatically update. And we are ready to check out some Jaguar CD games. I have never played any CD games before, so we will briefly go over each one to see if they work. Baldies appears to be working fine. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but yeah, it seems to be working just right. Battle Morph kept giving a black screen when attempting to run the game. This might be an issue with the CD rip or just not supported yet. Blue Lightning seems to be working fine. The starting level looks pretty ropey, but further in you fly among buildings, which is a bit more fun. Brain Dead 13 appears to be working great. It's similar to Dragon's Layer where you need to press a button at the right time to perform an action or move. It looks quite fun from what I played. Dragon's Layer we all know. I don't know what the buttons are and keep dying, but from what I've seen it seems to be working fine. Highlander is fucking awful. The controls are horrible and the combat is just as bad. The only good thing is that it seems to be working fine. Hover Strike also appears to be working fine. This could be quite fun once I find the manual for the controls and how to play it. Iron Soldier 2 works great and is fairly fun to play. I'll definitely be coming back to check this one out some more. The classic game Mist seems to be running just fine. I haven't played this in years so I will check this out later on. Primal Rage also works fine, but is pretty ropey to play. I need to check out the manual for the controls, as I've got no idea what they are. It might be slightly more fun with two players. Space Ace was the first game for me that failed the first time I attempted to load it. After trying again, it booted up fine. And it's another one where I need to check out the manual for the buttons. There's more ship. Hey. 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 
Vid grid as a issue where it boots up and then freezes on the loading screen. Uh, I'm not sure if this is an issue with the CD image or the game is not supported yet. So that's a quick overview of the original bunch of Jaguar CD games that I have. I think there may be a few others like demos. There are also newer games released by Unbrew developers which I do not have but I have read most are encrypted and will not run. Maybe we will see some kind of support for these in the future. Overall the first release for Jaguar CD support is very impressive. Out of the 13 games, 10 of them are working just fine. I would expect to see a further firmware update which improves the compatibility for the three games with issues. You can find out more about the Jaguar game drive on our review video and also don't forget to visit retrohq.co.uk for details where to buy one. They are in high demand and I would advise to pre-order as they sell out very fast. If you have a Jaguar then the Jaguar game drive is a must have. That wraps up this brief video on the firmware update. We hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already so you can keep up to date on our new videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.